coming to the, our diagram again. So first two arrows completed. Now what is the third arrow? Third arrow explaining copying data from local file system to Hive warehouse. Hive warehouse means Hive table. So we are not started Hive. Let's start with Hive now. So I have some data is there in my HDFS, placing some EMP file here. That EMP file I want to know like uh, what is the total salary of the employees, how many employees in each department, or some sales file. I want to know how many sales, how much sales happen. But this is my requirement. I want to generate these reports. The HDFS, I we already placed some data. We already copied some data, and this data I want to generate some reports. How can I re generate the reports? How can I analyze the data? The number of ecosystems is there. By using those ecosystems, we are going to generate those reports. So before do the work, first we want to install Hive. So once the location, we want to set to some location. That location we want to install Hive. So which location? By default, everyone, everyone configured Hive. This location only Hive warehouse. Hive, user Hive Warehouse. User Hive Warehouse. In this location, everyone installed Hive. Right now, we have three types of clusters is there. Of course, you know, local mode, standalone, distributed mode. In these three types of clusters also, same location Hive is available. Local mode, we have already Hive is available. In this local mode also we have already Hive is available. Okay, on the particular path. Okay, so I want to log in into Hive. How can I log in? Yes, a simple command is Hive enter. We are logged into Hive terminal. Hive enter, we are logged into Hive terminal. So, okay, we are logged into Hive terminal. How can I analyze the data? What is Hive? By using Hive, how can I analyze this EMP file, uh, sales file? Yeah, before go, doing the practicals, let's see the, some theoretical concepts regarding Hive. So, what is Hive? Hive is a, one of the ecosystem in Hadoop. Hive is a, one of the ecosystem in Hadoop. By using Hive, we are going to analyze the data. Simply, it is a, one of the analytics ecosystem. Yes, see some definition. The Apache Hive is a data warehouse software facilitates coding and managing large data sets residing in distributing storage system. That means what is the data available in the distributing storage system? Those data by using Hive, we are going to analyze by using Hive, we are going to analyze it. And by using Hive, we are going to perform ETL operations also. ETL, extract, transform, load operations. All the ETL operations, we are going to do it. The Hive is almost similar to SQL only. The data warehouse SQL is there now, similar in our Hive, is one of the SQL language. But here we're calling it Hive language, not a SQL language, Hive language. Hive language is similar like a SQL language only. And the next point, a mechanism to impose structure and variety data formats. What do you meaning of this point? Yes, in our Hadoop, we are storing different types of data. In our Hadoop, we are storing different types of data. Maybe structured data, unstructured data, semi-structured data. Different types of data we are storing into our HDFS. But Hive is a table. Hive is a table. Table not accepting unstructured data, semi-structured data. Table accepting only structured data only. Right? Make sense. Using Hive, we are converting that structure, unstructured or semi-structured to structured format. After that, we are loading those data into Hive table by using Hive. So how to converting? By using Hive, we are converting. See the same point, a mechanism to impose structure and a variety of data formats. Different types of data formats is there. Those data we are importing into structure format by using Hive. No. Next point. Access to files stored either directly in Apache HDFS or in other storage systems such as Apache HDFS, some other location. What is the meaning of this point is, if you are there in a Hive, you can access the directly, for example, this is a Hive. You can access the data from HDFS to Hive table, or else some other storage system, the local file system to Hive table, or else sometimes some other place to Hive table also. 
So we can access the hive, you can access the data into hive table directly into hive table also. That is the meaning. And next one, query execution via map reduce. What is the meaning of this point? If I submit a SQL queries, what is running behind the SQL queries? If I submit simple SQL queries, cell to start from table name, SQL engine taking care. Actually, we are not don't know also what is running behind the SQL queries. In our Hadoop, if you submit Hive query behind Hive queries, you can see the practical also. I am submitting a couple of we are submitting a couple of queries now. Behind that queries, one process is running. That process name we call a map to this work. Okay, what exactly map to this work? I will tell you, but as of now, high level, just imagine. Okay, behind SQL queries, internally one process is running that we call a map to this work. Next point is provide SQL queries language like uh, allows plugin mappers, custom uh, customized mappers and reducers, and uh, at the same time allowing some UDFs, user defined functions. Everything is allowing here. Similar like a Hive, similar like a SQL, Pig also, sorry, Hive also allowing custom mappers and reducers. At the same time, we are using some inbuilt functions. Is there in a Hive? We are using those inbuilt functions. At the same time, we are creating our own functions also. Our own UDFs also. We are using those UDFs also. Yeah, we are using those our own functions also in our hive. Okay. Yeah, this is the few points regarding hive. 